Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lou, your independent financial advisor here at Sterling & Law Independent Wealth Management. Today, we're revisiting a topic that's constantly evolving, capital gains tax. With tax fresh in our minds, it's crucial for investors to stay informed. In this video, we'll break down the latest updates on capital gains tax, explore strategies to potentially minimise your tax burden and answer some burning questions you might have. So, whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, hit that like button and let's dive in. Capital gains tax, CGT, in the UK, is a tax levied on the profit you make when you sell or dispose of an asset that's increased in value. It's important to note that CGT is applied to the gain you make, not the total amount you receive. So if you bought a stock for £1,000 and sold it for £1,500, your capital gain would be £500, the sale price minus the purchase price. This £500 is what gets taxed under CGT. There's capital gains tax-free allowance each tax year. However, this more than halved from £12,300 to £6,000 in April 2023, and it's dropped again to just £3,000 from April 2024. If your total capital gains for the tax year fall below this amount, you generally won't pay any CGT. There was also a change to capital gains tax rates in the UK that took effect on April 6th, 2024. Previously, if you were a higher rate taxpayer and your gain was on residential property, you paid CGT at a rate of 28%. However, as of April 2024, this has been reduced to 24%. For up-to-date information and specific details, it's always recommended to refer to official government resources at www.gov.uk forward slash capital hyphen gains hyphen tax. Now, let's talk about strategies to minimise CGT. Strategically using tax advantaged accounts like ISAs and pensions can shelter your investments from CGT altogether. Using these types of accounts can significantly reduce your CGT bill, but be aware of the limits and restrictions relating to ISAs and pensions. You can also use losses from selling investments to offset your capital gains and potentially reduce your tax bill. This is a strategy called tax loss harvesting. First, you have to review your investment portfolio and identify investments that have decreased in value compared to their purchase price. You then sell these underperforming investments to lock in the capital loss. This creates a record of the loss for tax purposes. The capital loss you've generated can then be used to offset against any capital gains you've realised from selling other investments during the same tax year. This will directly reduce your overall taxable capital gain and potentially lower your tax bill. If you believe in the long-term potential of the asset you've sold at a loss, you can consider repurchasing a similar investment after a short waiting period, usually 30 days in the UK, to avoid violating wash sale rules. This allows you to maintain your investment exposure while benefiting from the tax advantage of the loss. Tax loss harvesting is a strategy and its effectiveness depends on your individual tax situation. Consulting with a qualified tax advisor is recommended to ensure you're maximising the benefits while staying compliant with tax regulations. Independent financial advisors, IFAs, can be valuable allies in navigating the complexities of capital gains tax for several reasons. We stay updated on the ever-changing CGT regulations and rates and can explain the latest changes, like the recent reduction in the higher rate for the UK and how they might impact your situation. We understand the nuances of different investment types and how they're treated for CGT purposes. This includes assets like stocks, bonds, property and even business assets. IFAs can help you develop a tax-efficient investment strategy. We can recommend ways to allocate your assets across different accounts, like ISAs and pensions, which offer CGT advantages. IFAs can also help you understand the impact of different investment decisions on your CGT liability. We can model scenarios and help you choose the path that minimises your tax burden while still achieving your financial goals. We can also ensure you're claiming all the available CGT allowances and exemptions you're entitled to. IFAs take your individual circumstances into account, such as your income level, investment goals and risk tolerance. We can provide personalised recommendations that are most suitable for your unique situation. Dealing with CGT can be stressful, but an IFA can take the burden off your shoulders and give you peace of mind knowing you're handling your investments in the tax-efficient way. However, it's important to remember that IFAs are not tax advisors or accountants. While we can offer valuable insights and strategies, consulting with a qualified tax advisor or accountant is recommended for complex tax situations or specific advice. Overall, IFAs can be a valuable resource for investors looking to minimise their capital gains tax liability and to navigate the complexities of investment taxation. Thanks for joining me today. Remember, tax laws can be complex, so consulting with a qualified advisor is essential for making informed decisions. 
If you have any questions about capital gains tax or your investment strategy, get in touch and drop me an email if you'd like to arrange a free initial consultation. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative financial content and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Until next time, happy investing. Remember, this video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute financial or tax advice.